Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and in this video I'm going to be running through a Super Touring Car Championship race that I did recently with uh, Jackie Daytona and Playwright. This was two cracking races that we had to do. This is the first one, a feature race, which is 14 laps of Brands Hatch. We need to run both the racing hard tyres and the racing soft tyres. And you can see I'm starting on the racing hard tyres and just trying to stay with this leading group, but also trying to stay out of trouble when it's really, really bunched up through these first corners. Just jumping across the inside of the corner there. Thankfully, I didn't get a penalty. Um, but I'm just trying to stay out of trouble and just being very, very careful not to spin it at this stage. Let's just go on board with myself. I'll use the follow cam just for the moment, but we'll probably use a few of the other views as we go through this particular race. So at this precise moment, I'm chasing down Jackie Daytona, Red-Eyed Monster, and I think it's M1 in racing in the front in the Genesis. You'll notice as well the liveries. These are British touring car liveries from the 80s and 90s. I'm in the team Harvey Peugeot 406 Ultron livery. And you can see that uh, Jackie in front of us is in Tarquini's Alfa Romeo livery. And some great liveries have been put together for us for these particular races. I didn't get to choose the car. I didn't get to choose the livery. It was a random draw that was done on Playwright's channel and I um, was a little bit disappointed with this car initially but ultimately really pleased that I ended up in this one. We got um, Jackie going for a move on the inside of Malkovich there. I've put it out onto the gravel which is going to slow me down and that's going to let M1M Racing through and Faz. Carlos Fandango also gets up the inside of me as we go through there and I'm trying to just clean up the dirty tyres. So one trip into the gravel is three places lost. I've also got Jackie Boy really close behind me. I think we got a little bit of a nudge through there. I don't think it was malicious in any way, but I got a little bit of a nudge, which then put me out onto the gravel. And unfortunately, we lost another place. So we're down to 11th place at the minute. Just needing to settle the nerves at the moment. I can tell you, I was so, so, so nervous at this point. It wasn't true, but going okay at the moment. Um, we're in 11th place, we're on the hard tires. And I'm hoping that quite a few of the other guys are in soft tyres ahead of me. And we won't know that until we get into the pit stops. And I'll remind you that we need to run both the racing hard and the racing soft tyres. So my strategy here was to run the racing hard tyres initially till the end of lap four. The idea here was to get the slower tyres out of the way whilst we're in traffic and then hopefully we can put the, the uh, soft tyres on and find ourselves some space where we can put some qualifying laps in. Let's just jump on board. I'll go with the what I refer to as the dash cam, the one with the dials, so you can see how we're doing here. We've got Jackie Boy making a move on Carlos Fandango. Uh, did they touch? May well have done. Carlos got a little bit twitchy under braking. We've managed to get that move done, looking for a move down the inside of Carlos, but that didn't come off. I was very minded in this one just to settle in and keep it smooth and keep it clean. I didn't want to do any dive bombing or pushing or going for gaps that were going to close or anything like that. I just wanted to run my own race and just try and pick up places as other people had issues. Carlos just put a wheel on the dirt there. I followed him off. So again, racing the car in front rather than driving the track. And as we go into this corner, Jackie Boy is just ahead. I back out ever so slightly just so that we don't run into each other. Faz getting it out on the gravel there. So that has given a place to Carlos. And Jackie, you can see a place past Faz now, just as we go through these tight right-handers. I got really close up behind Jackie Boy there. Faz does throw it off the track there, so that gives us another place. A little look up the inside of Jackie Boy there, but again, I don't want to be doing anything dirty. Uh, I, I just want to keep it as clean as possible, but at the same time, just trying to intimidate these cars into making mistakes that I can capitalize on. So more intimidation passes than anything else. Just up ahead, 
It looks like Malkovich has just made a move on M1M Racing, but he gets a little bit out on the dirt there and M1M is coming back at him as we go underneath the bridge, but Malkovich gets that one done and that move is safe. Just coming back to myself, uh, if I can find me, there I am, just chasing down Jackie Boy still. I've back, um, just dropped back ever so slightly. Jackie Boy gets it a little bit loose on the exit as we go up over the curb. And all the time I'm just looking for a faster way of getting through this corner to try and get more power down this straight. This is a brilliant overtaking place, probably one of the few safe overtaking places if you can get a good exit off of that previous corner. You can carry a lot of speed through here just staying in fourth gear and I tended to find I could close up quite well on some of the other cars through here. Be brave through here. Now quite a lot of people will just stay in fourth gear through these corners. A lot of the top A and A plus races do exactly that. I was finding I don't know whether it was the car or just my driving style, but if I slowed down using the third gear just for a moment or two, it set the car, it just balanced the car right for the corner, and then I was able to carry a bit more speed through the corners, and that's how we managed to get that move done on Jackie Boy. And now we've got to chase down Carlos, who's a good two or three seconds ahead, but we dive into the pits as per the strategy, being careful not to club with the walls because we will get penalties. I'm going to be losing the racing hard tyres and putting on the racing soft tyres and also I'm going to ever so slightly overfuel the car. Now there is a diamond that tells you how much fuel you need for the run. However, I just like to just overfuel the car just so that I can give it a little bit extra power if I need to. I tend to be quite good on my tyres and fuel, but if I really, really do need to go for it, then sometimes I need to use a little bit more fuel than my driving style normally uses. And that's the reason why I just overfueled just a little bit there. So we've come out in 13th place behind Faz. We're on lap five of 14. Now we're on the soft tires and you'll notice that I don't think anybody else has pitted yet. Um, that's quite a long way to go on these soft tires. I'm on brake balance all the way to the rear because it's the fronts that wear on this particular car and I want to try and level out the wear on the tyres as much as possible. So smooth was the watchword here, more than anything else. I wasn't necessarily thinking too much about the car in front at this stage. I was more focusing on my own braking points, my own turning points, and keeping the car as balanced as possible, setting the car for every single one of these corners as quickly as possible, and then trying to get onto the power as quick as possible. At the moment, you've got Dan way out in front in first place. Kuro going really well at this point in second. Faz dives into the pits. So he's gonna be losing, I would imagine, racing hard tyres. Yes, he is. Those are the hards. He's gonna be going on to the softs. Now, I had been running this race on my live stream all of the week leading up to this. We did at least one run of this every evening. And those of you that um, know my stream, you'll know that I'm a complete open book. I don't hide anything. And a number of people were running the strategy that I was running, which I found to be really, really, really good. I caught quite a few people, I think, by surprise. The first time I ran this strategy on the stream, a lot of them were softs. And I think a few of them probably were thinking, what on earth is Mitchell doing coming in this early? What on earth is he doing starting on softs? and they were all going past me during the first few laps. But the race then comes to you as you go through the laps. And that's what I'm trying to do here. So you can see that the strategy has worked beautifully thus far. We've come out in loads of space. We've got nobody challenging us behind. We've got nobody challenging us in front. And I can really just concentrate on the track my turning points, my braking points, my acceleration points. Basically, I am now in the zone of qualifying laps. The best possible position to be in a race. Well, I suppose the best possible position is Dan's, to be out in front and a country mile ahead of everybody else. Um, but I'm not quite that good. We've got Malkovich and Carlos in for tyres as well. They were both running on the hards as well. So they've 
put new soft tyres on. So their tyres are going to be a little bit younger than mine. But I'll remind you that my main emphasis here is trying to keep this smooth, look after the tyres and just see how we go. So we're halfway through the lap at the moment and we are, what, three laps in, I think, on the racing soft tyres with very, very little wear. So I'm feeling pretty good about that at the moment. And what I want to do is just keep rotating the laps whilst looking after the tyres but also trying just to close down the guys in front. It looks like Kuro has had a massive off in the Subaru. He was up there in second, I think. He's now in front of us in ninth. So I know that he was struggling a little bit with the Subaru earlier in the week. He's done quite a lot of tuning mods to that car with the suspension, I believe, and going really, really well, but obviously had a moment and he's off on the grass again. That's going to be dirty tyres. It's gone a little bit wide into that corner. I've got a good exit. Jackie Daytona's in the pits now. Again, another person on the racing hard tyres. A penalty from Kuro means that we managed to pick up another place. We've got another two cars that have dived into the pits. Again, both of those guys were on hards. So uh, I thought that quite a few people would be on the soft tyres. Maybe I've got more people watching my stream than I give myself credit for. Or maybe the strategy was obvious for this one. So we've caught up behind Jackie Daytona now. And Jackie is on new racing soft tyres, where I'm on partly old racing soft tyres. But mine are warmed up quite nicely and settled in. Whereas Jackie will still be probably getting his up to temperature and certainly feeling the way that the car is handling on the new tyres. The Alpha pretty quick off the mark, but the Silvia is able to stay with the Alpha down the long straights. And both cars were pretty good through the corners, although very often I found that I was able to get a good exit off some of these corners. I'm sitting behind Jackie at the moment and just watching to see how the Alpha is running, where it's fast, where it's slow, the lines he's taking, and just thinking, okay, where can I get a pass? Can we go for an intimidation pass? So just looking around the outside, no, we'll back out of that one. He knows I'm there. Dan is in the pits right now for his stop. So again, just drop back from Jackie Daytona a little bit through there. But then we'll try and close up again and then through the twisty section I'm going to try and just catch up with him and just occasionally just remind him that I'm there. He's got a bit of a slide into that corner. Managed to gather it up nicely but he's got two wheels on the dust there. I think that's going to be fine because he's got plenty of grip in that Alpha and I've also got M1 tight behind me now. So pushing on and just going a little bit wide through there. We're both catching up on Red Eye Monster at the moment. And at this point now, we find ourselves in fifth position with many of the pit stops completed. So fifth was a real surprise at this point. And if I didn't have Nurse before, the Nurse were really starting to show now because, well, if we get one car up ahead as a mistake and I can get past Jackie, there's a podium on here. And I'm not that good. I don't get podiums when I am racing in real world lobbies like this. So at this point, I'm just thinking, keep it smooth. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't take too much of the corners. Watch out for the track limits. Just keep on pushing and just see if you can stay with Jackie Dotona. I think most people now are on the soft tires but I say that, Red Eye Monster just dives into the pits. He was on hard as well, now gone on to the soft tyres. So that's promoted us up to fourth. So we didn't get an incident up front, but we did get a pit. And I'll take that, thank you very much. Behind, we've got M1M Racing has fallen back just a little bit, but still there because he's battling away with Malkovich. So whilst they're having their little fight, that's enabling me just to get a little bit of air behind me so I can concentrate much more 
on Jackie in front rather than um, defending. Jackie, I noticed, was going quite deep into that corner, whereas I was taking a tighter line. Sometimes, not always, that was giving me a nicer run down this long straight and the possibility for an overtake. So that was one of the areas where I was thinking, could there possibly be an overtake opportunity? Through here, uh, we were pretty even through here, so not really an opportunity to overtake. And to be fair, around Brands Hatch, unless somebody puts a car into the gravel or the dirt, you're not really going to overtake here. The straights are just too small. And it results in a dive bomb into one of the corners. And well, that's only going to antagonize people and I don't want to be that person. So for now, I am just trying to keep this, as I said, as smooth as possible. Just looking at the fuel, we're absolutely fine on fuel. We've got um, four laps to do now that we cross the line and just under half a tank of fuel. So we're absolutely fine on fuel. Loads of dirt and gravel being thrown up at me. They're gonna go and try for a move down the outside. That's gonna be a bit audacious, get a little bit of a bump. I don't know whether I moved over a bit too far on Jackie or whether Jackie just came over on me, but um, threw it up the inside there. Well, it wasn't a good move, it wasn't a dive bomb, but I had to back out that one ever so slightly. Let's just have a look at this from the outside and just enjoy these two cars having a go at each other. Um, but I'm just looking and pushing and just trying to encourage Jackie into a mistake, whilst also reminding him that I am there. At any moment, if you make the mistake, I'm gonna come through. If we just have a look at Jackie's tires, his tires are pretty much the same as mine. There's not a lot of wear, uh, any more wear on his than mine. So we're pretty even Stevens. The tire wear is reasonable. It's a little bit heavy on the left-hand front, but then it always is around here. And all I'm trying to do is just keep on pushing. We've got M1 M Racing is catching, catching, catching behind. And at this point, I'm thinking, well, really, what I need to do is to get on the back of Jackie Dotone. Let's just put, pull, up, pull up the uh, view with the dials again. I do really need to try and get this move done because M1M, although in the mirror he looks quite a fair way away, he's actually a lot closer than I would have liked. A little bit of a mistake going into that corner by Jackie that uh, enabled him or meant he had to have a double stab on the brake. I thought I might have been able to go around the outside, but unfortunately no, he covered that one off quite nicely on the inside. Can we go down the inside here? No, not really. I'm just showing my car there, just trying to intimidate Jackie a little bit through there, but knowing full well that that's never gonna happen. So I'm positioning my car to uh, make sure that we can back out of that one. Again, Jackie's taking that deeper line into that corner. I've gone from a shallower one and you can see the difference that that has had on the run down to this corner. We're on lap 12 and I really need to get this done so I'm breaking really, really late. Leaving Jackie room, I think he saw that I had that corner done and he may well have backed out of that one so that we didn't become two cars in a wreck. That has now released me and I think that I've got a little bit of speed in me to pull away at this stage but that has now put Jackie between myself and M1 that was chasing us down. So now with clear track ahead, we're back to doing those qualifying laps whilst also keeping an eye on the tires. So with regards to the tire situation, the left-hand front obviously looking a little bit worn at the moment. The rear tire is looking fine and the right-hand front tire looking absolutely brilliant. So I know that I can lean on the car through the left hand corners and I know that I just need to look after it through these right hand ones and so many of these corners at Brands Hatch the right corners are very very fast and very tight corners but really do punish that left hand front tyre. So at this point I was around about one second ahead which was the cushion that I wanted to Jackie behind. I'm trying to maintain that gap whilst also now trying not to make too many mistakes by just trying to be too clever. I just wanted to keep this one settled down. There was no way on earth that I was going to catch Maximum or Dan up front. So what I wanted to do here was just to consolidate 
the third place and get a podium in this race that's got some very, very quick people on and people that normally beat me in these races. So the pressure was very, very, very much on. And at this stage, I am literally just treating it like a qualifier session, but a qualifier session where I am being very careful of track limits, uh, of the curbs, etc. So you'll see I'm not going out too wide. I'm not cutting the corners too much. Um, I am actually going just a little bit slower, braking just a tad earlier. Um, however, as the fuel comes down, our track times, well, we've been around about the 130s pretty much all the way through the race. Lap 12, 11, um, oh, is that the position? Um, okay. I'm not quite sure what the white numbers are on the right-hand side. That's completely thrown me, because I thought that was the, uh, the laps. It must be the, well, it's certainly not the position. I am confused as to what the numbers are. Um, at this stage, we're back into the 130s anyway. There was a 131. Um, thank you to that car just for getting out of the way. Blue flags waving and uh, that fell quite nicely going up the straight here while I was looking at the lap times. But we are down in the 130s at the moment, so we are still pushing quite a bit. As I said, the second and first place are way down the road, so not even thinking about that. We went a little bit wide into that corner. Nerves really settling in now. I know my heart was beating out my chest at this point thinking, can I actually bring this home? We've just got this corner to do one more and then we should be able to claim a really, really, really nice podium at this first feature race of the Super Touring Car Championship. Let's just have a look at the car coming across the line. Absolutely beautiful. Jackie Dotona right behind race long battle with Jackie. We did manage to bring it home ahead of Jackie uh, with M1M and Carlos close behind. Malkovich just coming across the line there followed by Nixta 85 Gaming. But there we go. That was one of the best online races that I have done in the longest, longest time. Now I was streaming this one. Um, it was on the, the Friday night stream, but I was really, really, really quiet. I was in full blown concentration mode. And I think that quite a few people that know that I often crash, especially around Brands Hatch, uh, I think they enjoyed that one. There was certainly some nice congratulations in the chat, which I really, really, really appreciated. So that was round one of the Super Touring Car Championship being hosted by Jackie Daytona and playwright. It was at Brands Hatch. It was a 14 lap feature race featuring the racing hard and racing soft tires. In the next race, we're gonna head off to Brands Hatch again, the Grand Prix circuit for a shorter race on the medium tires. So join me for that one coming very, very soon. For now, take care. Bye-bye.